Even not. Big Daddy Blue. <laughs> Brooklyn Linton, DMT, Big Up Marcus, Elsie, Austin, Mr. Murray, Big Up People, Ollie F, Paul Sumlin, Lee Green, Captain Immature, Big Daddy Blue. Yes, we're big, my brother. Big Boxer. Blue Boxer. Tony. What's that? Gil Martin. Tony Chamberlain. Sonny Chamberlain. Paddy Ingram. Big up my people, man. Yeah. Lovely, 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 lovely. Well, I hope everyone's well. Look, you know what, yeah? I don't want to keep doing all this coming back on and justifying myself and making that uh, everyone's trying to make out I'm still a criminal and they've got something to fear, right? And it's crazy and it's not even the case. And I've got other people telling people I'm poncing and begging in Camden Town with fat, picking up fag butts. But like I said earlier, right? Well, where's that gone? Where's my card gone? That's deep. It's in there. Yeah, so that. Mum's got a cannabis, medical cannabis patient card. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't need to be smoking, but <laughs> I never even smoked in the shovel, like, people know, yeah, swoopers are from the shovel, yeah. Marv weren't a swooper, you know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, why would people say things like that about me anyway? Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel sorry for these people. They're that lost, yeah, that they need to clickbait that bad that they have to tell stories that Marvin's picking up fag butts. Come on, man. Nah. And I can mention some people that pick up fag butts in the shovel, mate. Come on. People know. I'm not even joking. Come on, so... I did say, yeah, that I would have some uh, videos in their entirety, right? So, obviously, everyone keeps attacking me on this platform, right? So, I'm going to let them play so you lot can hear it. So, there's no confusion. You'll hear from the phone call. Folks, Ron. Hold on one second. No, it is, it is. Yeah, I got, it's your number 07928 Yeah, so the other one I've got, so the other one, I got a text from the number I thought was you. Right, so just to enlighten you, right, um, basically everyone knows I'm out here trying to change the narrative and trying to help create a platform where people don't have to stab, shoot and kill, right, and people don't have to create the same shit we've all been through forever, right? And if we can prevent ag or future hostile situations developing, then this is what we've got to do as a, as a people, right? So we're on a platform and we have a responsibility and a duty of care to make sure that we have everybody's best interest at heart and that we don't go around doing things maliciously to provoke other people to do crazy things. Now, I've changed my life and a lot of people I know have changed their life. Now, one of my friends has um, committed some horrific crimes like most of my friends, right? And he's served 15 years of a sentence, right? And he's just about to come up. And basically, one of these grooming parasite cockroaches decided to have part of the team, yeah, that killed my pal's mum on his platform, telling lies and sort of talking nonsense. And I can say this once and for all, because when my pal comes home, he's going to be coming on my platform with his paperwork and be able to demonstrate with facts, evidence, facts, proven, OK, that he's blown his story out of proportion and out of bullshit, like, it's all nonsense. So what I've done, yeah, as I rung up um, Sean's team 
and this was the conversation I had with them. This is what this is, this conversation. And this is what it was. This is supposed to be the threats. This is supposed, and this is it. This is it in its entirety. I spoke to Jen. This is the only time I spoke to this woman. Um, I think there might be one more recording that I spoke to her after. I'll play that a bit there. I'll even have a look one that, like that. Let me have a look. Jen Atwood, no. And I've only got one, one, one of her, and I've got three of Sean. So I want to play Jen's one in its entirety now. And it, you, you hear, I don't stop nothing. I just let it play so they can talk and chat and do whatever they want, right? So here we go. I just deleted it. Yes, deleted it. Right, before I say anything as well, right, I got sent a message and then I got messaged by about three different phone numbers, right? As if they was Jen. Like, it was weird. Like, some funny shit went on once, once I contacted them. And then it kept happening all day. So I was just asking these simple questions. I have a message. And, it, and, and I don't know, it was weird. Like, I, just, I don't know. Because the number I spoke to on, someone else texted me on that number. You know that? No. No, someone else texted me from the number that ends in 415. Is that your number? Whose number is that then? That's weird. That's the number I got hold of you on. How weird is that? That's fucking weird. Anyway, get rid of that one then. So that one's gone. I don't know who that one's. Right, and your number now is 416. All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Yeah. Right, you need to send me this interview because I'm going to go take it down. Well, I did not send it to you yesterday. One sec. See, that's what I'm saying to you. I did, but it was went to the wrong fucking pen. See, one sec, sorry, one sec. No troubles. So you can blatantly hear me asking politely, yeah, politely, can you take it down? Like, there's no aggression there. There's no nonsense. Yeah, we'll take it down. Just send me the video. Oh, I've sent it, but they sent me three different numbers, right? And every number I messaged, they never received it. It was weird. It was like, they said, oh, yeah, send it to me. When I was trying to send them the video, it was going through to other people's numbers. And then I got hold of her. I said, can I have the number? Message me now. Let me see as well. Do you get what you hear it now? And that's what I'm saying. They were playing games from the off, right? And all I'm trying to do is prevent people from being angry. And what you've got to ask yourself, and I'm not saying my pal's going to come out and do anything, yeah? But just, what would you do if someone killed your mum? What would you do if someone killed your best friend's mum? Like, what would you do if you someone killed your auntie? And this is a, 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 a woman that's got nothing to do with anything, yeah? Like, nothing. And I'm sorry I've got to bring it up. My pal might have to see this, but come on, man. Like, and their family, their friends, like, these people have got a passion for this woman who died for nothing at the hands of these people that this cunt's glorifying on his platform. And I've just asked him kindly to take it down. And that was all this was all about, yeah? And this is what they've re replied with, like, this week. And I'm the bad guy. Come on, man. Come on. See, that's what I'm saying to you. I did, but I was, went to the wrong fucking pit. See, one sec, sorry, one sec. No, Travis. Well, I'm going to leave this play, right, for you lot, and I was going to go and just do something quickly, yeah, but just listen, and listen to how manipulative, yeah, these people can be. It's next level, mate. So are you the, con the content creator? Um, so to speak. Well, I don't know what you're about. Well, I'm about for, no, for Sean's platform, you know. Now, do you create yeah. content? No, because what is, I've got some amazing ideas for creating content. Right, again, I'm going to interrupt. So, I don't hear any threats there. Eh? I'm actually trying, yeah, trying to help create content which does not affect other people, that does not cause alarm or distress and does not cause any suffering, right? Creating content that people want to see that will not harm other people that are watching. That's what I'm trying to do, right? Yeah. Uh, so, what it is, is because I'm new to all this straight shit. I don't know how to do things properly and I don't know how 
to grow. Right? It's just coming to you now. There we go. Is that, do you get that? So that's the video. That's the video. That's the video that I want you taken down, yeah? Simple. If you want, I can get you whatever evidence you want to support what I'm saying. Every bit of evidence to prove they're lying. Yeah, because, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Right, so them lot and their brothers and their people killed my pal's, my, my pal's mum. Right? Yeah. So they're not as innocent as they make her. So all I'm trying to explain to you is, I don't want everybody to get caught up in stu stupid tit for tat bullshit and all problems on the social media platforms because it's all ridiculous, right? So there's going to be criminals coming out and telling lies, and I'm just trying to prevent the people being hurt or the families being traumatized. Do you know what I mean? This is what I mean. Sean doesn't care, though. You, you've got to understand that Sean is all for the likes, subscribe, and all this fucking bullshit. Hold on. But, you know, but, but with that, though, that's going to cause a lot of tension and problems, man. Like, and this is what I don't get with these. Like, this is why I can't... I don't understand them. Like, and do you know what, yeah? And I'm not saying it because I'll do it, but if it was in another world and I was in another, like, my, old, my old life, yeah, they, 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 they would have been severely dealt with, mate. Like, people like Sean and that was causing problems on purpose. Like, it's, it's not healthy. It's really not healthy. Now, to get... Yeah, I'm, I'm I actually spoke to you, um, do you know who? Who? So, Mark see. Dixon, my podcast guest. I do. So I problems but us people right and i'm talking about me specifically as well right we were insane and we done some sick shit that i'm not proud of but like, i don't glow about what i've done and like these people have done some sick shit and they're going on the platform pretending they're, they're innocent and you gotta understand that that's affecting people that have been affected by their actions and these people like they, he's going up there talking about stuff and there's people looking at the screen now thinking i want to kill this cunt I want to kill this cunt. What do you think is going to happen in society? Like it's, it's causing problems in people's... It's fires that got extinguished decades ago are going to get reignited with Sean Atwood and people like that. And it's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair. And this is all I tried to tell Sean. Don't do stuff like that. And they told me about, I'm a bad guy. How am I a bad guy? You lot doing this stuff for the wrong reasons, man. And it's not healthy because, look, father was that. You're a young woman, right? There's fucking people to throw acid in people's faces that, that he's had on his show. There's people that do stupid shit that he's had on his show. And he's, he's got you around him like, you're safe with him? How? Like, he's, he's, a, he, no, mate, he's a sick individual, yeah? And I don't understand why he does what he does or puts people's lives in danger the way he does and makes money out of it. Like, that's why I wouldn't go to his house. Because I know he just, he just want to make money out of it. And what I demonstrated with what I've done was how angry this man made me get and what I would have been prepared to lose if I hadn't changed my life. That was all that video was for, right? Just to show people that, look, I would have went down there in another life and I would have got nicked and I would have been banged up and I would have been fucked. But I never, because I started driving, I turned the car around and I went home. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I was just showing people how I react in the other world. And I wasn't doing anything to demonstrate or give accolade or condone any bad behaviour. I was demonstrating the stupidity of that mindset. And that, that's what that post was for Sean. And Sean took it all out of proportion and knocked it all in loads of different areas. And I was like, wow, look at this fool. About a hitman's coming to his house. For, like, he wouldn't even know I was coming to his house. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's not, he knows I know where he lives. I know where he lives. I know where his family lives. I know where everyone lives. I've known forever. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I've known forever. I don't need to publicise that. Do you know what I mean? I've done what I've done, yeah, just to let him know. 
Because he knows I know where he lives. The not address I where he lives. He knows that. So I mean, I'm not a fucking idiot. And at the end of the day, yeah, everyone's out here trying to change narratives and make a difference. And there's people out here that are just trying to cause problems. I don't want to cause problems. I want to help people alleviate trauma, change the narrative, and help people become sustainable from the certain social landscape that I'm from. And if you want to, if you want to get involved in anything like that, young lady, then reach out and we'll get involved in the do shit. But I don't do stupid shit. I don't argue with people. Even that... Keys that jumped in my car, they're all down and they all want to stay there. Let them talk. They can talk. Go and talk about me as much as you like. See you later. And that's why they yeah. got no response from me because I just thought, do you know what? Forget about them. Even my pals read me said, How could you lower yourself to their level, Marv? Yeah. 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 Ye
not because of what you're doing, because what if I knew you ain't doing nothing? You're, you're, what are you doing? You're working. Well, so this young bird, right, she's getting threatened by all these guests, yeah? And the platform's doing nothing to protect their crews. Like, come on, why are you having people on your platform that are threatening your team? Like, what's all that about? Why is your team under threats? And why am I getting told that I'm threatening people when they're telling me they're under threats and they're being attacked by all sorts of people? Like, where are they, why are they not telling the public this stuff? Why are they just telling me this stuff? You're doing a job. You're doing a job. It's the people in front of you that have done something wrong. What are you getting threatened for? Come on. I call, listen, I call all the top criminals groomers. What, well, no one says nothing to me. It's true. I say everyone, the groom, a whole lot of groomers. They've been young, using the youngsters forever. Do you know what I mean? And then they get young girls to carry guns and parcels, bring it in jails and all that. Come on, man, that's criminal exploitation. They're grooming the youngsters to do that shit. I say that happily, proud, yeah? I don't get no trouble. My missus don't get no trouble. My camera people don't get no trouble. We don't get threatened. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on, who's actually threatening this woman? Do you know what I'm saying? You're like, like I said to her, your own team are playing games with their team, yeah? Because people ain't threatening people on this platform. If anything, they, they reach out to the people that own the platform, yeah? And then they start going quite and say, well, listen, take that shit down. They're not going to speak to the people that are doing it, the interviewers and that. Come on. I'll say, I'll say you're all fucking groomers, the lot of you. And I'll say, I'm going to say again tonight, I'm going, I'm going to Edinburgh Fringe Festival. And I'll say it now, all the old lot of groomers, yeah? I'm telling you that. So you know where to get me groomers. Come, come on, you know where I'm at, Kenneth Town. You know where I'm at, Armour's V. Come and blow my head off Scotland. if you're a groomer. Do you know what I mean? Come on. Do you know what I mean? Fuck that. No, I don't. I'll tell them. Come and see me. Come and see me if you're a real bad groomer. Come and put, come and put me in my place that I'm talking shit. Come on. I'll dare you. And no one turns up. Because I'm the one that's Because they can't. Because everyone's embarrassed. No one wants to do that shit. That's what they're yeah? doing, all of them. Right. So I say it from the rooftops, I don't get no headache. None of my camera people get any headache. No, because we're real. We're real and we're honest. And no one wants to commit crime. No one wants to go to prison. Yeah? And everybody uses everybody so they don't go to prison. That's the rule of the fucking street. Yeah? We live by it and we die by it. Why? For what is my purpose and my point now, yeah? And these people coming in my life telling me about I'm threatening them. I'm threatening them for what? They've got no threat. They're no threat to me. Come on. I'll tell you. And no one turns up because they're grooming kids to commit crime. That's what they're doing, all of them. Right? So I say it from the rooftops, I don't get no headache. None of my camera people get any headache. None of my productions get any problems. Do you know what I mean? My problem is my production teams, yeah, get run off their feet and they can't handle the workload. So unless you've got people that want a real... No, trust me, I'm not even joking. Like, what the workload we've got is just immense. Like I've got eight, I've got eight terabytes of data that needs editing, and I've got a million and one fucking things to record now that I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you heard it here first. I can't because I ain't got the team because it costs too much money, and the people that are too tied up, busy helping, who was helping, can't afford to do what I need them to do. So anyone that's out there that's got a good team around them to want to do some recording, being a, a percentage share of my IP. Contact us on the inboxes. Come on. Interns, all that sort of shit, yeah? Anyone involved in editing, filming, recording, all that, reach out to us. Editing, and I've got a million and one fucking things to record now. Now. So I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so you told me to help you out with the cameraman. Is that Hold what up. Oh, I, I was threatening to kill her last team, night. Team, young lady. What's your name again, Jen? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want, to, I want to create an insurmountable team to change the narrative and show people how to do what I've done, become sustainable, grow and help others do the same. Okay, cool. Oh, only two seconds. Sorry, two seconds. Sorry. Only, come on in. Sorry, dog. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And this is me being horrible to these people. I love them eyes, you know that? Them eyes look sick. Okay. And he's a fucking 
In its entirety, yeah? So, I've threatened her and I've done this and I've done that, yeah? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. It's, 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 it's a joke, bro. Like, I'm not out here playing games with these people. Now, nah, bro. Damn. Yeah, it's coming up to midnight. But you know what? There's enough viewers now. Ooh, 586, yeah? Damn. Here's Shawnee boy. Now, Shawnee boy... Like I say to you, yeah, I try to reach out and help people, right? I really did. I really did want to make this platform next level because everyone knows me and knows I don't talk bollocks, right? And I know everyone, yeah? So the idea that I had was if we all come together and brainstorm what we can develop and put out in certain ways, yeah, then we will control the whole platform between us and have sick content connected to every villain all over the world, right? And we all do it together. Did they want to do that? No, no, no. All they want to do was attack and keep people down, troll people, and just stop all the bullshit. And we could have had a sick platform, you know, English gangster platform, like, but changing the narrative, like, people standing up and saying how muggy their life was. Like, we've all had arsehole, and we weren't mugs for having arsehole, right? Because we had to use that arsehole to get through what we got through, right? But that life, come on, man, we know we'd change a different lifestyle or choose a different lifestyle if we could. Do you know what I mean? We could, if we could go back and change things, you know no one's going to choose that life. And if they do, then they're sick. And I can say that. Come on, man. So... 
Mr. Atwood, I've got three recordings of Atwood, and we might make a weekend special out of these. I don't know. I don't know. Because he says some sick shit. What I do like is this bit. coming my way and I do believe that you're in some way I'm 100% focused on creating content I do not troll people right. you're sounding right. like Darren G Darren no, G I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not but hold on okay so why did that why did why did why did Kelly why did Kelly reach out to me and ask to come on my podcast because at that point in time I was still all good with you and I thought I was helping you getting more guests on I was I had a bunch of people lined up to come on no, but I don't need I don't need your guests I don't need your guests I told you that. That ain't what I want. Your guests. I'm get, I've got my own guests coming on. I oh, apologise for trying to help you. Then. No, no. But the what I'm saying is, you never said to me, "Right, well, I'm going to get you guests. I'm going to do this," and I agreed with you. So Christian. Really? Yeah. Really? So what did you tell Christian? So I got people who you could, guys could get on with Marvin, and it would help his channel grow. Really? And what did Christian tell you? He said that he would get back to me, run it by you, and get back to me. Okay. And did we get back to you? No. Okay, so what does that tell you? That my intention was there to help you. No, but that, that tells you that I'm not interested in the guests that you want to fire into me, right? Because I believe that you're just full of dark energy. And all I was gonna, well, the reason why I'm calling you today is to, to, just to give you a bit of advice, right? That, okay, go for it. You're going to give me advice. No, I'm, 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 because I'm connected to the universe in an unbelievable way. And I've got, yeah, an, I've, okay. I've got, I've got... I've got something called, what they call an invincible spirit, right? <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, you can laugh, you can laugh. So when things do start clicking in place and things do start falling apart for you, just know it's your bad intention that's made that happen, okay? Okay. Okay, and that's all I'm saying to you, right? Because yeah, I've... I, mean, I, take full, I take full responsibility for my actions and all the energy I'm putting out there. I'm okay. not trolling you. I'm just trying to build my channel, create great content, and keep everything on track. And one of my missions is to help people who have been in prison. Okay. I've had so many guys. I tried to do that with you. Okay. So okay. why, why, why has everybody that you've tried to help got negative things to say about you? 
I'm not on about Darren G. Forget about Darren G. I'm not talking about Darren G. Right? There's other people you said you was trying to help, and you haven't helped them. You haven't helped them. Who have you actually helped apart from name them? Name them. Well, I'm not here to name them. I'm just asking you, who is it who you tried to help, and what is it you tried to do to help them? I've been doing this for 12 years. I've helped. Yeah, but what, right, so what I'm saying to you is, what, no, you, you put them on your platform. The story that the help them raise money. Okay. I've done a lot for people, so, and I don't put that out there. Right, so what is, people People have contacted me, right? I'm not going to name them because it doesn't make sense, but they've contacted me telling me that you've done book deals with them, not Darren G, forget about Darren G, other people, you've done book deals with them, and there's nothing transpired out of it. Nothing. But I will have them on my podcast if you don't want to be harmonious with me, and I'll, and I'll get them to tell their stories. And I've got four... I'll, I will, I will, I will. I will I'll, you listen, you're absorbing information that's fabricated because okay. that has never happened. All right, fine. If you want me to put it out there, I'll put it out there. No problem. Please do. No, I will. Please do. Yeah? So you're, you're, giving, you're giving me the green light to do that, yeah? When you exposed me, when that video, when you said you exposed me, you said, I'm never going to talk about Sean Atwood again. There's never going to be a part two. Blah, blah, blah. Right? So what I wanted to do, right, was get you to clear your name and come with your evidence of what you said and what you're doing and where you've been, and you're not prepared to do that. Why? Right. Like no, it's not it's about, about no, it's about, it's about, it's about keeping, right? it's about the viewers, right? Seen what the so all the viewers, all the viewers are asking questions, right? So it's about keeping the viewers happy, isn't it? Toxic, toxic fucking idiots, that's all, not viewers. Toxic fucking idiots, not viewers, right? That's what he says, right? Imagine that, what? Hold on, let me get that back. I like that bit. Toxic viewers. Toxic people. What is it? I can't even remember. It's, that's deep. One sec. I've got to play that again. I've never heard that properly. That's what I was doing. You haven't, just, you haven't tried to help me. You know, you tried to help yourself. You listen. You, you, you tried to help yourself. I told you to move you, that talk with to it. I didn't need to do you, any of that you, stuff with you. No, you never I done anything, though. I genuinely wanted to help you. You never tried to help me. You just tried to further yours with what you wanted with your platform. And it blew up a little bit in your face because you weren't expecting to do a podcast with me on that day. And it blew up on you. It blew up on you. It was big, Marvin. Having you on and you interviewing me did not affect anything. I never said it would affect anything, but what I've done is... What, 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 Christian, I tried to help you. No, you never tried to help me. You just tried to get me on your podcast. And that's why I said to Christian, yeah, I said, there, yeah, when he comes up here, I'll get him on mine first. Otherwise, I'm not doing him. And then when I got you on yours, you got put in the hot seat and you sort of fell apart a little bit. Right. Yeah, I was just polite with you, that's all. Okay, it's not a problem, it's not a problem. Well, I was going through things, my best mate was dying, I was a bit down in the dumps that day, and you fucking exploited it, that's what you did. Okay, okay. Um, well, what I was going to say to you is, um, I don't appreciate all the sort of negative energy that's coming my way and i do believe that you're in some way i'm 100 focused on creating content i do not troll people all right you're all sounding right. like darren g darren no, G's I'm, not, I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm not but hold on okay so why did that why did why did, why did cali why did cali reach out to me and ask to come on my podcast because at that point in time, I was still all good with you, and I thought I was helping you getting more guests on. I was, I had a bunch of people lined up to come on. No, but I don't need, I don't need your guests. I don't need your guests. I told you that. That ain't what I want. Your guests. I'm get, I've got my own guests coming on. I've got, yeah, I apologise for trying to help you. Then. No, no, but the problem saying is, you never said to me, right, I'm going to get you guests. I'm going to do this, and I agreed with you. So Christian. Really? Yeah. Really? So what did you tell Christian? So I got people who like, you could, guys could get on with Marvin and it would help his channel grow. Really? And what did Christian tell you? He said that he would get back to me, run it by you and get back to me. Okay, and did we get back to you? No. Okay, so what does that tell you? That my intention was there to help you. No, but that, that tells you that I'm not interested in the guests that you want to fire into me. Right? Because I believe that you're just full of dark energy. And all I was going to, the reason why I'm calling you today is to, to, just to give you a bit of advice, right? That, okay, go for it. You're going right. to give me advice. Go no, I'm, 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 because I'm connected to the universe in an unbelievable way. And I've got, an, I've, I've got, I've got, I've got something called, what they call it, an invincible spirit. Right? 
laugh. Yeah, you can laugh. You can laugh. You can laugh. So when things do start clicking in place and things do start falling apart for you, just know it's your bad intention that's made that happen. Okay? Okay. Okay? And that's all I'm saying to you. Right? Because yeah, I, mean, I, take full, I take full responsibility for my actions and all the energy I'm putting out there. I'm okay. not trolling you. I'm just trying to build my channel, create great content, and keep everything on track. And one of my missions is to help people who have been in prison. Okay. I've helped so many guys. I tried to do that with you. Okay. Yeah, so you. Why, why, why has everybody that you've tried to help got negative things to say about you? Darren G. No, no. How about, how, no, no, I'm, saying, I'm not on about Darren G. Forget about Darren G. I'm not talking about Darren G. Right? There's other people you said you were trying to help, and you haven't helped them. You haven't helped them. Who have you actually helped apart from me? Name them. Name them. Well, I'm not here to name them. I'm just asking you, who is it who you tried to help? And what is it you've tried to do to help them? I've been doing this for 12 years. I've helped yeah, but what, hundreds of right, people. So what I'm saying to you is, what, no, you, you put them on your platform. got the stories out there. Help them raise money. Okay. I've done a lot for people. So, I don't put that out there. Right, so what is people, people that have contacted me, right? I'm not going to name them because it doesn't make sense, but they've contacted me telling me that you've done book deals with them. Not Darren G. Forget about Darren G. Other people, you've done book deals with them and there's nothing transpired out of it. Nothing. But I will have them on my podcast if you don't want to be harmonious with me and I'll, and I'll get them to tell their stories. And I've got four... Please, I'll, I will, I will, I will. I'll, you're, listen, you're absorbing information that's fabricated because okay. that has never happened. All right, fine. If you want me to put it out there, I'll put it out there. No problem. Please do. No, I will. Please do. Yeah? So you're, you're, giving, you're giving me the green light to do that, yeah? When you expose me, when that video, when you say you expose me, you say, I'm never going to talk about Sean Atwood again. There's never going to be a part two. Blah, blah, blah. Right? So what I wanted to do, right, was get you to clear your name and come with your evidence of what you said and what you're doing and where you've been, and you're not prepared to do that. Why? So it's about the viewers, right? Remember that. Listen, it's about the viewers. Now, listen. Oh, what the fuck's just happened to that? Oh, you can't. See me in this technology. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, well, what I was going to say to you is, um, I don't appreciate oh, all the sort of back. negative energy that, to me and asked to come on my podcast. Because at that point in time, I'm trying to help Really into me, right? I've got a bad intent track. And one of my missions is to help people who've been in prison. Okay. I've helped so many guys. I tried to do that with you. Okay. So why, why, why has everybody that you've tried to help got negative things to say about you? <laughs> Darren G. No, no. How about, how, no, no, I'm, to, I'm not on about Darren G. Forget about I've been doing this for 12 years. I've helped yeah, but hundreds of right, people. So what? They've contacted me telling me that you've done book deals with them. Not Darren G, forget the... You're absorbing information that's fabricated because okay. that has never happened. All right, fine. If you want me to put it out there, I'll put it out there. No problem. Please do. No, I will. Please do. Yeah? So yeah. You're, you're, giving, you're giving me the green light to do that, yeah? When you expose me, when that video, when you say you expose me, you say, I'm never going to talk about Sean Atwood again. There's never going to be a part two. Blah, blah, blah. Here he right. comes. So what I wanted to do... Right, was get you to clear your name and come with your evidence of what you said and what you're doing and where you've been and you're not prepared to do that. Why? Hey, it's about the viewers, right? I'd love to see what would have fucking happened. So all the viewers, all the viewers are asking questions, right? So it's about keeping the viewers happy, innit? Toxic, and toxic fucking idiots, that's all, not viewers. We really? Viewers over here. Okay. 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 Not a problem. Well, this is so silly, man. All I did was try to help you. No, you never tried to help me, man. You just tried to help yourself and you thought I was one of them little divs. You thought I was one of them, you thought I was one of them little divs. You thought I was a little div that you could manipulate and sell them a dream. But I'm going where I'm going. I'm going to achieve what I'm going to achieve. And I'm always going to be Marvin Edward Herbert. Okay, and I'm out here helping people. Okay, and I'm, I've got the evidence and the proof and the video 
shows and the financial revenue streams that people have earned and people are doing and people have, have got because of me. Okay, I've got that, and I can publicise that. I'm not about to do it right now, but in the next couple of months, you're going to see some amazing stories. That over a million two hundred, about two to three million pound turnover collectively with six or seven people, and that's what I've done. Well, I, so, I want you to be successful. No, no, no it's not about my success. It's about other, I help people so they are successful, not me. Me, even, 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 even the money that I get off, even, even the money, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, the money I get off YouTube goes to my cameramen, it goes to the youth clubs, and it goes to the boxing community, and it goes to the young people that have no money, right, I give people opportunities so they can become successful, that is my journey, that is my goal, that is what I do, I don't make money. Okay, I have my own money. I have my own life. Do you understand? Like, I do what I'm doing, yeah, to help people. Outside of that, I've got a consultancy group, I've got a football academy, I've got a recording studio, a record label, and a media company. And they all make money. And they work with Discovery, they work with Netflix, they work with Amazon. Do you understand? And these are people that I've put in positions. I've got people working on radios, I've got people working on TV, and it's all going to come out in the next six months because that's my goal. Everything I wanted to do in a criminal flat, um, platform was just to say that crime isn't worth it and this is what crime does for you. So now all that's out of the way, all the, all the, all the most... Is, no, no, you don't... It's, 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 it's going to succeed. But what I was going to say to you is that because all these... Little hiccups have happened with the charity and other things that I'm working with. Do you know what I'm saying? To like, someone even tried to say that um, I'm not suitable to go into prisons when I've seen CBR checked, right? And I've got the green light from the government after I went to Downing Street to do what I'm doing, right? I got personally thanked by the, the Prime Minister and the Princess Trust for generating financial streams for the underprivileged people. So I'm doing what I was doing before I come on YouTube. I come on YouTube just to market myself before I made my movies, and my TV series, because it's all happening. So I've just existed on a platform just to bring awareness to people of what Marvin Herbert is actually doing now, because what I've done in the past is pathetic, it's not worth it, and it amounted to nothing. There you go. I thought by having you on board, yeah, we could actually change the narrative and help people do things. But it just seems that you're very selfish, self-considered, and all you want to do is grow yourself. So, all I'm asking... The thing is, the thing is Marvin, we're on the same mission. And no, we we're, not, we're, not, we're 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 not. Because you know and I know, yeah, that you don't do what I do. And there's, there's, there's grey areas with schools, colleges and prisons where you're not in no more. Do you understand? That's bullshit. You have okay. no idea what I'm about. You've never okay. even researched my story. You thought you were catching me out saying those things I've been saying for 10 years. You have no fucking clue who okay. I am or what I've done. I don't care about who you are and what you're doing. I just care yeah, about... I just care about... I care, I, care about I care about helping people. And what I was just sort of trying to explain to you is this, right? That if you want to succeed in life, the best way to do it is harmoniously, not diving between the raindrops and hiding in the shadows like you do, okay? My, life, my life's an open book, Marvin. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not an open book. It's not an open book at all. It's your opinion. You know, no, you know it's not an open book. You no. think I'm a divvy, so in your opinion, a divvy could not have achieved... No, 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 I don't think you're a divvy. No. But what it is, is, right, it's, um... You, you're an open book. You're an open book, so you say, right? But you have perversions, which you don't talk about. What? That's bullshit. I'm going to free some with adult women is a perversion. No, I'm, 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 I'm not just on about that. I'm not just on about that. You know what I'm on about. I don't need to expose you. Do you know what I'm saying, But I'm not going to expose you for what you do in your private life, because that's your private life, mate. But you're a seedy fuck, bro. And you, and you beautiful women, beautiful adult women my entire life. How is that perverse? Okay, okay. Look, all I tried to do was clear your name on a public platform, so the people, my viewers, that are all dubious about you, could rest assured that you're not that guy, but it just seems you are that guy. 
That's all. In your opinion, no, it's not, it's not, no, no, see, it's not my opinion because I don't care. It's other people's opinions that I'm giving you. It's not my opinion. I don't care about you. I don't know you. You get more successful. You get trolled. You get the haters. Okay. You're finding that yourself and you're pointing the finger at me. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, no, no. Someone, someone specifically, someone specifically, yeah, which we could only could, could have been you. Yeah, could only be new because I never, I never spoke to Darren G up until that point. Spoke to the AP Foundation and started trying, trying to slander me. But because when people do their checks on me, they can see exactly who I am, what I'm doing, and where I've been. Well, I know that. Well, I've never ever said a bad word about you. No, no, what I'm saying. Take all my stuff off your platform then, because I don't need your help. You take all my stuff off your platform. It's like, what, I've got you, what, two million views by now? No, you my videos. No, no, you haven't. All my videos, like 20,000 subscribers. All because I fucking can help you. No, they got got the views because you fell apart. They got the views because you fell apart and people's like, rah, this keys to listen, look, 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 look. He is what, look, 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 look. That's all it is. Doing a favour for Christian, I was polite as fuck with you. Yeah, you dry, you had a dry mouth. Yeah, you couldn't answer most of the questions. You wanted to turn the video off on I don't know how many occasions. It's because you didn't want to be honest. Talking about the legal suit. What 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 legal suit? Callie's like your bird, mate. And what legal suit she's gonna push against you? What's she gonna do about you? Her 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 price tag when she was on uh, bits and pieces went up after she went on your show. <laughs> Come on, come on, what's that all about? Well, you're helping her, like, be a grafter. You've got a bird who's sexually been abused know, on a platform. I know you're recording this, and I'm not fucking answering any of these sheriff questions. I know, I know, because you can't. I know you can't. You know you can't. You know you can't. But you know, prior to your... Marvin, you just showed up on the scene, you know, on the block. Prior to your little nonsense, Callie was marketed... I'll take all yours down. Callie was marketed at a certain price, and after she done your shit with you, her prices went through the roof. Oh! And you know that. And then you had her in your ass, and then she moved out of your ass, and you made the little story. Yeah, it would do. 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 Hello? Yeah, Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. I can hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear. All right, you take all my videos down. I'll take all yours down. I wish I hadn't helped you. You You backfired. You you disrespected me. And nothing good has come of this for me. All all I did was risk myself for you. It's bad energy. That's what it is. It's just karma. Karma comes back and bites everyone in the arse, mate. I'm really young in its entirety. So I ain't got time for these people. I really ain't. And I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm going where I'm going. Now, if I've done anything wrong in them fucking voice notes or threatened anybody or done anything that I can get nicked for, then you know I'll be nicked, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on, wake up, fix up. Monday morning's coming. Marvin's back. We've got some information. We've got some shit popping. And we've got some things doing. So stay tuned, stay focused, stay positive. You know what? 774 people viewing at the minute, man. That's the biggest number just yet. And I've got to take a screenshot of that. Boom. Take a screenshot of me in it. Boom. We're laughing. Hold on, get a smile with that one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So that is the biggest number I've had on the live. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much, my people. Stay tuned, stay focused, and stay positive. And let's not let the rats get us down, because we're here to do great things.